All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. before we begin, let's correct my image, because this is what you do, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Talk Focus, or Frico Talks the News for April 14th, for Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. And our top Talk Focus for this show is Police Department Purge Siren Triggers Crowley, Louisiana. It is a beautiful thing to behold. Tone deafness from our betters. The super smart police department of Crowley, Louisiana had no idea that the sirens they used to announce curfew, which is creepy enough as it is, is the same one used in the movie The Purge, a movie about people having one night of the year to commit crimes, full on murders, rapes, Deads, mayhems, crimes. <laughs> Good move, gang. Here, here's from the shade room. By the way, shade room. Good, good site. Highly recommend. Fun site. Louisiana Police Department apologizes for using siren from the purge to signal curfew. Excerpt. Residents in the Louisiana town of Crowley were quite disturbed the other night when they heard the siren from the purge movie being blasted through the Acadia Parish. Of course, this wasn't actually the go-ahead for people to wreak havoc, but an old military alarm that their local police department chose to use to signal that the city's 9 p.m. coronavirus-related curfew was to begin. And now it seems police are apologizing for the bad idea after a bunch of residents immediately filed complaints against the warning sound. Like, well, that's... It's one of this, this. I love this. I mean, obviously, I know what they meant, but I just love this. This is just float this in your head, ladies and gentlemen. Immediately filed complaints against the warning sound. Whoa. Whoa, did you hear that? What was that? Uh, that was a warning sound. A warning sound? We got to file a complaint against that warning sound. Where is it? They're filing a complaint. Who's going to serve it? I love that. Thank you for that moment. Thank you for the warning sound for serving the war. I just, I want, can, listen, if you actually fill out the warrant, I will volunteer to serve the warning sound, the papers, to let it know that it must immediately cease and desist because it's been warned. I love that. Thank you for writing it that way. It was so much more interesting than if you actually, well, I would have written it that way. This is how I would write it. Because I know the reader needs a little bit of joy. At first, they'll be like, hey, wait. Oh, I get it. Yeah, but still. You know what I mean? That's what you do when you're a high. When you have a high level of craft, that's how you write right there. According to ABC News affiliate KATC. Wait, according to ABC News affiliate KATC. KATC. By the way, if you're listening ABC News affiliate and you want to use me as a voiceover, I will do. I will whore for voice. I will whore my voice. ABC News Affiliate, KATC. Ladies and gentlemen, it's ABC. Come on, I can do it. Come on. Hey, type type KATC in the chat if you want me to be the new voice of ABC News Affiliate. ABC News Affiliate, KATC. If you want that to be the voice, if you want to hear that every morning or whenever, all throughout the day, type that. KATC. Do that. Magnets will unleash speed in electric power. A breakthrough in magnets could lead to rapid delivery of electricity at levels at once not even deemed impo impossible. Yes, I totally laid it on thick for that. I, was, I loved writing that. It is as if a cap of limitation had been ripped off the top of the electric speed container, and now the potentials are beyond our understanding. Because no one imagined we might break the barriers we previously thought we were operating within. And this is from SciTech Daily. Giant leap in magnet research leading to faster electronics. Come on, which, which headline would you prefer? Magnets will unleash speed and electric power or giant leap in magnet research? Come on. Here's the excerpt. Researchers pushing the limits of magnets as a means to create faster electronics published their proof of concept findings on April 10, 2020 in the journal Science. The University of Central Florida is the lead university in the multidisciplinary university research initiative, MURI, project, which is funded by a $7.5 million grant. 
sir. $7.5 million isn't really all that much. Oh, I'm sorry. A billion dollars! No. Just a $7.5 million grant, which really isn't all that much. Like I said. From the Department of Defense, the team exploring methods for creating machines that operate at trillions of cycles per second includes the University of California, Santa Cruz, and Riverside, Ohio State University, Oakland University, Michigan, and New York University, among others. The laboratory of Enrique de Barco, Ph.D., and collaborators at the University of California, the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, and the Chinese Northeastern University are successfully overcoming that natural resistance using electrical currents passed through anti ferromagnets. Just like iron magnets? On the nanoscale, the results are groundbreaking because they represent proof of concept showing that anti magnetic devices can operate on the terahertz level or calculations completed in a trillionth of a second. Not only does that hold potential for everything from guidance systems to communications, but it brings devices closer to mimicking the way the brain operates. Again, on your wrist, on your wrist, your own personal IP buddy that you will have created from scratch. Like, it'll be a tradition when a child is born, the child will be, be given you maybe one AI, maybe a family of AIs, maybe one or maybe as many as 12 AIs, maybe 12 that are all assigned different. Maybe you'll, you'll consider it safer to divine, design AIs that are intended to be more narrowly focused and maybe a couple of AIs that do the synthesizing with all the others. I don't know how you would do it, but, but either way, they'd all be on your wrist. <laughs> They'd all be on your wrist. Super duper quadrilooper. Yep, right there on your wrist. Your AI buddies. Talk to them. They can talk to other AIs when you let them and let other people let them. That type of, of environment empowers individuals. It, it, it democratizes the technology. It democratizes the... the well, it, it's a basically it's, it's, it's an intellectual multiplier. It's a, yeah, it's an intellectual multiplier. Your AIs are going to make sure nobody can BS you. And the thing is, everybody will be on the same playing field. Everybody will have the same high level of excellence. Everybody will be able to walk in the highest level of craft throughout the land whenever they want. And that'll be the end because the only legitimacy, power legitimacy that Citadelians essentially have. The one, now, I'm not talking about people that there are some people, for various reasons, who've made billions of dollars just because they've sold like a billion dollars worth of digital stuff that really it was all them. I don't know. But but on the main, most people that have that much wealth, they have, well, they've done so at tremendous cost to others. And I would say that it is not in their interest for, because of all the people that they've probably ticked off and probably rightly so they don't really want to be in a position where suddenly everybody looks at them and says hey wait you know success in and of itself is not really a legitimacy for the type of power that you possess you have more power than governments do in point of fact they have more power than governments do when they can actually decide which governments they censor on their social media platforms in which they don't yeah they have more power than governments do and yet we want to give them these godlike powers over defining the narrative of our lives because they're corporations and not states they're one and the same and they don't want us to have the access to the glitter that they have access to any more than the state does they're and in that they're in accord and and again as i'll say throughout the show Again and again, they, 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 they are the same family members. <laughs> How about that? They're the same family members. They're cousins and uncles and this third cousins, and they're they're all related in one way, shape, or form. And a few, some new blood comes in, but that's this promise here. This is wonderful. If it's not all going to be created and then instantly the mines will be harvested and colonized and 
converted into IP metaphorical gold bars that'll be stacked away in, in storehouses surrounded by lots and lots of guns and missiles and drones and nerd gas and whatever else it takes to assure that the IP does not get free. So it's a great story. It's great promise, great tech. But again, if, you, if you're going to lock up the IPs, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad for we the poors. So if you are one of the poors, and and most likely if you're not if you if you're worth less than a billion dollars you you are the poor. But so if you are one of the poor, you might want to you might want to consider maybe not supporting IP as much as 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 you think you should. And with that we're going to end this segment. This has been the this is the 6 o'clock segment. And that means that we are at the halfway point of the show now. For those of you watching on YouTube, you be sure that you go over to dlive.tv slash Freeco, F-R-E-E-Q-O, and give us a follow because you could be watching the whole live show where I, I, I do magic tricks between segments. I don't do magic tricks, but I pretend I do. I do magic tricks between segments. So be sure you go over to dlive.tv because you could be watching the live version of of the show in its entirety. Kid you not. Free. Free of charge because Frico's free. Frico's free. But he does ask you if you, if you like what he does that so you go and tip him at Frico.com slash tip. He does ask that because he's a whore. He is ultimately a whore. Although he'll do this for free as long as he can. I like speaking about Frico in the third person every once in a while because I like to remind myself that I'm not really Frico but I actually am. So it's difficult sometimes. So on the other side, though, we're going to get the news poem, uh, which the title of our news poem for today is They Died Alone, Invasion of the Masks, a Coronaville Love Story, Colored, Circa 2020. That's what we'll get on the other side. And that, for the YouTube audience, that will be 7 o'clock. 7 p.m. is when the news poem is posted. <laughs> 